He said, life is like a game of chess. To win, you have to make a move. Knowing which move to make comes with insight and knowledge and by learning the lessons that are accumulated along the way. In 1975, a man and a woman were married just outside of a small Wisconsin town. On the day of their wedding, they received many gifts from their friends and family, but from her parents, they received a very special gift. The gift was presented in a package that closely resembled that of a basic shoebox, a beautiful, ornate chess set made from pewter. And in the many years that would follow, only the queen would hold the answer as to its origin. What if there was a way to use modern technology to capture some of those memories, perhaps even relive them? During their first few years of marriage, they would settle into their first home, and little did they know that this would be their forever home. Over the years, they would spend countless hours in front of the fireplace, playing this game of chess. In many ways, it was just a game, but more than 47 years later, she would describe these moments together as some of her most cherished memories. More than 20 years had passed by since they played their first game of chess together in 1975 and that box with all the pieces was stored away for the last time. Soon after, the table would be moved to storage, and 47 years later, its whereabouts would remain uncertain. But that's not the end to the story.
If the story of this married couple was to be told to future generations, would it even matter where either of them was from or what either of them did for a living? What mattered is that they were happy together and they raised a beautiful family together. They were passionate about this game of chess, but it wasn't the game itself that caused them to grow closer together in their marriage. And the game itself should not be romanticized. If there had only been one player in this game, what value would the game have even had? It's the spring of 2022, almost 47 years to the date that they were married in 1975. She returned home one day from running errands to find that he had passed peacefully in his sleep in a chair next to the fireplace. In the months that followed, she would slowly begin the process of downsizing to a home that was more practical for just herself. She handed down many valuable items to other family members, but that chess set, eventually she decided to sell, but not without sharing the details of her beautiful story. So when you found player number two, let it be less about the materialistic things and more about creating memories together.